Here we have a question on simultaneous equations for further maths GCSE. Um, I'm going to suggest that you use a substitution method, but you can use an elimination to do this, and I will show you how to do that after I finish showing you substitution first. Um, the reason why I'm suggesting substitution is the further maths GCSE is extending GCSE towards A-level maths, and, and substitution is a much more useful method than the elimination. Elimination is, is a bit of a um, a trick we use to do questions that are set up in a certain way very quickly. Um, but when we've got something like this, um, the way I would like to think you would start to, to try and do this is to just work out what one y is in this question and then replace this y in here with whatever value we find for it. So we've got two y, so to get one y we need to divide by two and that gives us one y and when we divide that by two we need to divide everything by two so we've got three over two x plus um, four divided by two which is two. So I know y is equal to this, I can replace this value of y with this value of y so two x equals um, minus three lots of three over two x plus two minus seven and then from there I would multiply out this bracket to get so well, the 2x stays the same, minus 3 lots of 3 upon 2 is minus 9 upon 2 x, minus 3 lots of 2 is minus 6 and minus that 7 which is minus 13 so we've got 2x um, equals minus 9 over 2 minus 13 add the 9x to both sides, let's just write that in green so we've got minus 9 over 2x sorry, plus 9 over 2x, add it to both sides, and that gives me, well, uh, 9 over 2 is 4.5, plus 2 is 6.5x, and that's equal to minus 13. So if I want to find x, I need to divide by 6.5, and, and it just so happens that 13 divided by 6.5, because 6.5 is half of 13, gives us 2, and minus 13 would therefore be minus 2. Once we have the value of x, we can then replace that into our original equation for y. So y equals um, 3 over 2 lots of minus 2 plus 2. And 3 over 2 times minus 2 is minus 3. 2 times 2, sorry, 1 and a half times 2 is 3. So minus 3 plus 2 equals minus 1. So those are our two values. Now, that to me is is a proper method to do this not being scared of fractions being able to deal with the substitution is an ideal goal there is another way of doing it, I'm just going to quickly show you that I've mean, spent three minutes on this so far so it's not too bad um, we could try an elimination method because with elimination we're used to having um, the x's and y's on the same side so we can manipulate this by taking away the 3x um, to leave us with that on the top one and then do the same thing for the bottom one 2x plus 3y equals minus 7 and from there we can use our usual method which would be to make one of the x's or y's the same and seeing as the y's are positive let's use that so we're going to times this equation by 3 and uh, times this equation by 2 and that will give me uh, 3 lots of 2y 6y minus 9x equals 12 and times the bottom one by 2 will give me um, 4x plus 6y equals minus 14. And from there, if I subtract the two equations, um, then I've got minus 9x take away 4x is minus 13x. The y take away 6y is nothing. 12 take away minus 14 is like adding 14, which is 26. So x equals 26 divided by minus 13, which is minus 2, same as over there. And then from there, we would just substitute that value into any of the equations we've got with an x and a y in it, and that will give us the minus 1 value for y. So you can use the elimination method that you might have learned at GCS, just ordinary GCSE, but um, this is going to get take you further and be more useful in the long run. This is a little bit of a fiddle just to do these sort of equations. You can still use it if, you, if you're not sure about this sort of method, but this will get you further in the long run.